As, uh, as Tam's been reporting all morning, there's a lot going on right now politically in this province. Uh, the news from yesterday, Peel Region will remain Peel Region. The announcement in May from the provincial government that it would dissolve is not happening based on a report that taxes would go up considerably across the region up uh, to 37 percent in Brampton, potentially 256 percent in Caledon over a 10-year period. So the province says, nope, we're not doing that, and they made the announcement yesterday. Well, Paul Calandra, Minister of, of uh, Housing, made the announcement yesterday. Uh, the news today at 11 a.m. in a press conference, you will be able to purchase beer, wine, and spirits at a lot of grocery stores and corner stores across the province coming up in a few years' time. Uh, that announcement is going to happen as the monopoly from the beer store will end. From a distribution and recycling standpoint, the beer store will still be part of this deal. But the province were under legal obligation to let the beer store know be between now and the end of the year what they were going to do. If you're wondering why now, that's why. Um, I, there's a lot happening here. Or do we usually get a flurry of activity, Tam, like this at the end of the year at Queen's Park? This seems very unusual. Uh, the last two weeks, really, at Queen's Park has been very busy. Uh, you know, we have Bonnie Crombie coming in as the, the new Liberal leader, but also just a lot of these changes and announcements that are being made so close to Christmas, not typical. The legislature has risen for the holiday, and we're still getting this flurry of activity. Um, when you start off with Peel Regent, it's just another backtrack. And so I think there are a lot of eyes on this government, considering that this is another in a series of backtracks that we have seen when it comes to the green belt. Uh, we saw the, the backtracks begin there. Uh, and, and this goes for when, you know, the Ford government was initially elected in 2018. We've seen a lot of things being reversed. This in particular, though, uh, what was really interesting is they referenced some of the numbers that you talked about, how much it's going to cost taxpayers in Mississauga, in Brampton, and in Caledon, uh, this KPMG report. What is interesting about it, and I mentioned it earlier, is the fact that this report wasn't done before the act passed. Mm -hmm. no, that, but that's, that's the piece I just do not understand, right. how you can start to make these plans and really uh, spread a lot of information to people that are, are very wrapped up in it. I mean, their futures depend on it. Uh, and you don't have the facts yet I, uh, of, of the cost to the population over a period of time. I just, that, that, that really uh, doesn't make sense to me and, and questions a lot of confidence in, in the leadership. Diva, right? When you make, make a promise to somebody and that's what you're going with without checking the background if that promise can be fulfilled, that's where that happens, mm -hmm. right? And referring to what Doug Ford promised Hazel McCallion before she passed about saying, you know, Mississauga will be its own city. And it blows my mind that it's not with a population that big, you know what I mean? That's grouped in with Peel. But I understand it from a tax point. If I live there, promise or not to somebody who is beloved, I want to do what's right for me and my family because the cost of everything is going up. I understand that, and then I should be okay with it. If that is going to save me money and everybody else in that community money in the long run, then, then yeah, stick with that. But don't worry, Devo, you can buy beer at the corner store. Oh, yeah, because, you know, <laughs> that's, that's been an issue. I, I, that's the other thing. Like, yeah, timing I, I'm, of that announcement, too. I'm, wow. I'm not, you know, I'm not hard done by to try and get alcohol some, from somewhere right now. I understand. Now, but is that going to change the cost? I know it. Yeah. Now, is that going to change the cost? That's the thing. Because it was all the big, you know, brewers that were with the, the beer store. Mm -hmm. So is that going to change our opportunity? There will be a slight price? extra tax that the government will, to no one's surprise, mm -hmm. be able to pull from this. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they're doing this out of the charity of their hearts, right. let's be honest here. But I hear you. Like, we knew, we knew where to go for yeah. our spirits. We knew our hours. <laughs> we knew the hours. Yeah. We knew the locations. One, one last question around the horn here, because politics is always, like, wait, a week in politics is an eternity. And the announcement yesterday, Doug Ford was not at, I want to I want to emphasize this point, Doug Ford was not at that announcement yesterday, a serious announcement that affected 1.5 million people in our broadcast area here at City TV, was not there for that, will be at some, I have no idea what, what store he's going to be at today at 11 a.m. for the beer store announcement. Do you think this will shift the narrative, because PR and politics can be everything, off of yesterday with the announcement today, yes or no, Devo Brown? I'd say yeah. You think it will? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I mean, I, I think uh, the great journalists that will be there covering it will question things from yesterday and the Peel Region announcement. Uh, but you know he's going to be like, hey, 
We got beer in your corner store. In 2026. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not tomorrow. Let's, let's pay attention to yeah, that now. It's true. Like, uh. I don't know. I feel like the people have been a little bit more... Uh, uh, educated in some of the the information ways that that have of of these past few months, and I think uh, I think they'll see through this. I, I also think I agree with you, Devo. The the amazing journalists that are part of the Queens Park Corps and other journalists who will be covering this news conference today. I almost I want to bet that mm -hmm. the first question will not be about one hundred percent alcohol. Yeah, yeah. yeah. one hundred percent. That meet that media core at Queens Park yesterday with yeah. Cynthia Mulligan and everyone. Oh boy, do they have a go at Paul Calandra? And he's a slick politician, Paul Calandra. He can handle a tough room. And before and and I could feel it. One last thing before we go here, I could feel people sending in tweets about you know going after conservatives again and Doug Ford. I've gone after Doug Ford plenty of times on this show. I do not carry water for anyone. The liberals have not been able to organize a lemonade stand in this province for years, let alone win, go from third to first in an election. Bonnie Crombie has a lot of work to do. I don't carry water for anyone, but these are these are weird things that are going on where, where this premier can backtrack like that and the polls really haven't moved much. Well, and that's now that's prior to Bonnie Crombie, but mm -hmm. the polls have not it's been a very interesting political attack by this premier. We'll see if it continues. Keep the feedback coming in. There's a lot to talk about here in this province. A lot to talk about here today. Coming up, we're going to shift gears. 